Hey Adventure Kids, it is so great to see you this morning and I can't wait to share today's Bible story with you. I think you're really going to like it. Oh, hey Pascal, I like those glasses. Are those new? Yeah, I'm just trying them out. I think they make me look smarter. Oh, well, why are you trying to look smarter? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, but they say my generation is the smartest generation, so I'm just trying to keep up with appearances. Oh, is that what they say, huh? Well, do you know what's more important than being smarter? Um, having really good dance moves? <laughs> no, actually being wise. What's the difference between being smart and being wise? Well, being smart means that you're intelligent and you can learn things quickly, while being wise means that you have experience, knowledge, and good judgment. Oh, well how do you become wise? Well, that's a great question, and maybe today's Bible story will help. It's about the wisest person who ever ruled, and his name was King Solomon. And he got his wisdom from God. And that's our Bible point for today. Jesus gives wisdom to everyone who asks. I can't wait to hear today's story. Well, let's jump right in and find out what happens. King David had a son named Solomon. When the time came near for David to die, he told Solomon to be strong and to obey everything that God had commanded. After David died, God made Solomon the next king of Israel. God told Solomon, ask me for anything you want and I will give it to you. Can you imagine being told by God to ask for anything you want and he would give it to you? Solomon could have asked for lots of money, but he didn't. Solomon could have asked for lots of houses and land, but he didn't. Solomon wanted to be a good king like his father, but he didn't know how to carry out his duties as a king. He felt like a child who didn't know his way. He wanted a heart that would help him understand how to rule. Solomon loved God, so Solomon asked God for wisdom to make right choices. He asked for an understanding heart so he could rule God's people well and know the difference between right and wrong. God was pleased that Solomon had asked for that because it showed that his greatest desire was to help God's people. God gives wisdom to everyone who asks. Solomon asked for wisdom and God said yes. God told Solomon that he would give him a wise and understanding heart. God also told him that he would give him what he didn't ask for. He would give Solomon riches and honor. And God told Solomon, as long as he lived, no other king would be as great as Solomon. Solomon became the wisest and richest king in the whole world. Everyone knew how wise and rich King Solomon was. got a hen to regularly count her own eggs. She was a real mathema chicken. <laughs> that there was funny. How did the barber win the race? He took a little short cut. Funny. Albert out. Peace. God gives wisdom to everyone who asks. Solomon asked for wisdom and God said yes. God told Solomon that he would give him a wise and understanding heart. God also told him that he would give him what he didn't ask for. He would give Solomon riches and honor. And God told Solomon, as long as he lived, no other king would be as great as Solomon. Solomon became the wisest and richest king in the whole world. Everyone knew how wise and rich King Solomon was. When the Queen of Sheba heard about Solomon, she came to visit him. She brought camels carrying all kinds of gifts to his palace. Her camels were carrying huge amounts of spices, four and a half tons of gold, 
and huge amounts of valuable jewels like diamonds and rubies. Did you know that camels were like trucks of Bible times? A camel can carry 400 pounds and travel up to 10 miles an hour. They can hold five gallons of water in each of their three stomachs, and they can go without drinking for three days. The queen sat down and asked Solomon lots of hard questions. Solomon answered every one of them. Nothing was too hard for Solomon to explain. The queen of Sheba was amazed. She told Solomon, you are twice as wise and wealthy as people say you are. The report I heard doesn't even begin to tell the whole story I heard about you. Who should we talk to when we need wisdom? Solomon was known as a wise king. People came from far away just to listen to Solomon and hear his wise words. But we know someone who is even wiser than Solomon. Jesus is our wise king, and he gives wisdom as a free gift to everyone who asks. And that's our story. Wow, King Solomon could have asked for lots of things that would have made him rich and powerful, but instead he asked for wisdom. He knew that he needed God's help to make the right choices for his people. That's right, Pascal. He couldn't just rely on books or manuscripts to get all the answers. He needed wisdom for God. And even though you might be able to get the answer to just about any question by asking Siri or Google, it takes wisdom from God to help us make good decisions. And we can ask Jesus for wisdom. That's right, Pascal. And that's our Bible point for today. All right, well, I think I should take these glasses off now. I borrowed them from my grandma and she's probably wandering around looking for them. <laughs> oh no, Pascal. Have an adventurous week, everyone. Hey Adventure Kids, this is the part of the show where you send in your questions to me, Jake, and I answer them. So let me grab my mailbag. <laughs> Hi Jake, what does God think about war? I thought we weren't supposed to fight, from Kai. That is an awesome question. And a very hard question. It's probably helpful to know there's a difference between murder and war. Murder is simply killing someone, and war is to prevent more bad things from happening in the future. I believe war makes God sad, but sometimes God asked his people to go to war because a group of people were doing something so terrible that God could not let that continue. One of the best things we can do is to pray to God to change the hearts of bad people so that we never have to go to war with them. Awesome question. Hi Jake, how many of the 12 disciples can you name from Isaac? That is an awesome question. Let's find out. To remember all the disciples, there's a little rhyme I know. Jesus called them one by one, Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas too, Matthew, and Bartholomew. James, the one they called the less, Simon also Thaddeus. Twelfth disciple Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes! And that's the 12 disciples. So remember, if you have a question for me, Jake, just go to the website takeawaywithjake.com and I'll be happy to answer your question right here on the show. Thank <laughs> you.